these Think Thin um, oatmeals. It has protein and fiber and I don't know, apparently it's good. It has 10 grams of protein, 5 grams of fiber. And so I'm going to have one of these for breakfast. And I find the cups, the little bag so cute. And uh, it's one of those where you like fill it up in the in the bag. Is that your morning face? Okay. So this is it. It smells really good and vanilla y. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like there's actual like vanilla bean pieces. So I'll try a little bit. I have to let it sit, but let's just try. Mmm, it tastes like vanilla cake batter. Hey guys, so Mike and I are on our way to our friend Darren's house to watch the World Juniors game. Do I have on my teeth? Yeah. Um, I need to get my nails done really badly, so I'm probably going to go with Tony tomorrow, but it actually snowed, and it's pretty cold. So I took out my basic white girl boots. These are the Ugg Adirondack boots. Um, they're really good in the snow, and they're waterproof. And I don't know, I just feel like wearing them today. But I want to order some red laces for them. And I got a comment like, oh, you put your Louis Vuitton on the floor? Yeah, because it's just a bag. So, and it's like, Louis Vuitton started off as like a, like a luggage company. So they're very durable bags. They're not like lambskin or anything. So yeah, I do put them on the ground. I feel like sometimes random things will taste like vodka to me. Like I bought this vanilla coffee uh, for the Keurig um, by Starbucks and it literally I made one last night before I went to the movies we saw concussion it was a really good movie it was really long but it was really good and it tasted like I just poured vodka into a cup so I didn't eat that but um you didn't eat it. I didn't drink it yes I do I have had vodka, vodka. <laughs> I don't like alcohol, so I don't drink all that often. But we went to a bar on Saturday and I had this blue drink. I love any drink that's blue. And uh, we went with Darren's girlfriend, Amanda, and our friend Alex. And I had this like, it was called the Slap Shot. It was blue, so I got it and it tasted really good. And I got, I didn't get drunk, tipsy off of one drink. We got wings and a quesadilla, but I still think I make the best quesadillas out of out of everywhere. Except Mucho Burrito has really good quesadillas, but, um, a lot of restaurants can make a good quesadilla, so I should probably give them a tutorial. I know, they're going very, very this slow. Guy, it's about <laughs> hey, about turn. Oh, good job. <gasps> <gasps> See, I, he has road rage too. Ever since you mentioned Dagwoods, I really want Dagwoods after. Oh, wow, baby. what do you know? A nice biker driving on the actual bike path. How nice is that? What a beautiful bike path we have on the nice road, perfect for people to be on their bikes. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it just amazing? Oh my gosh, look, there's even a bike sign right there. So there's really no excuse for bikers to be on the fucking road. This is like the area of shame in my room. I want to get rid of this because it's literally just like a garbage table and I just put garbage on it. So. I have this box here and this is going to be for like stuff I want to sell and then I'll figure out other stuff for uh, stuff. This was the thing from um, my nail polish declutter. This is, oh I forgot about this, this was from my mom, Smarty Container. Uh, this was for Back to Max, so I'm going to put the Back to Max stuff, I'm just going to put it here for now. These CC creams I love. This I've had since like forever. It's the Big Easy by Benefit. I'm gonna throw that out. This is my summer full cover. This is a Maybelline foundation. My Dior highlighter. A lot more CC cream. Okay, this is way too dark for me, but I'm gonna give this to my friend Tristan. And another CC cream. CC Bye Bye Redness. This is a cap for one of the CC creams. This is a serum. I don't think I've ever even used it. Maybe I should try it. Maybe I should give this to my mom. It's anti... But you know what? It's good to anti-age. This I've had literally forever. It's gross. I'm going to throw that out. This is It Cosmetics Gel Brow Thing. I liked it. Okay, so the stuff that I'm going to keep is obviously my CC creams because I'll never need to buy another one in my life. Um, my Dior highlighter. This isn't even supposed to be in that drawer, but whatever. This concealer... This is a powder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this I'm going to keep the Becca. 
This is tan concealer, rich concealer, under eye thing, a concealer, another concealer. <laughs> is this still good? Tight line? Yeah, that's still good. I don't even know how to get rid of all this shit. This is Bye Bye Pores. I like that. This is a, an emergency lotion. It's like a spa treatment by Clinique. It's so old. What's up? Don't use that. Pencil sharpener, tea tree oil, a brush. Let me put that here. This is Bye Bye Redness. I do like that. Obviously going to keep this. This is the big and bold bronzer that I used in my drugstore tutorial. If I like it, but like I don't ever use it. This is the highlighter. I'm gonna put all the good stuff like in here. Then this is these are masks. My favorite hair oil. This is also a like a serum. This is a ooh, a very light studio fix powder. That's good for under eyes. I didn't even know I had that. Picture of me. This is some eye mask. I've never used these, but I should. I'm gonna like put together a little spa thing, a box. Now, okay, this is gonna be hard. I don't even know where this powder is. Okay, this is gray, auburn, dark brown. I have some people that, I'm gonna start putting together little bags for people. Um, bye Bye Pores. This is tan, another tan. Okay, another CC cream in Rich. Anastasia contour kit, I don't love it, um, but I can't just throw this out. Okay, this IT Cosmetics. This is a pretty blush, but I don't wear blush because I just don't like it in general. This is Stereo Rose. This is really pretty, is it Stereo Rose? This is really pretty in the summer, so I want to keep that. This is one of my all-time favorite MAC MSFs. It's called Refine, so I want to keep that. This is a contour thing. I don't think I, like, it's already almost done. Okay. This is Tahitian Sand by MAC Hello Kitty, one of the last good MAC collections that came out. And this is done. I should probably back to MAC this because it's not even like that nice anymore. So this is the MAC, oh my gosh, do you guys remember when this came out? It was, what is it called, Marine Life? It had like this gold thing and like people went crazy over it. I'm going to sell this. This is when it gets tricky. I love this compact. It's the MAC Heatherette Compact. I never use it, but like it's one of those packages that like I won't, like I know I'm all about like, oh I like keeping things that are useful, I know that, but like... I'm allowed to keep some things, okay? Like, if I get rid of a lot, I'm allowed to get rid of some things. And I'm going to keep this. Because, like, this was also one of the last good matte collections. This is the Blonde Mineralized Skin Finish. I can't remember the last time that I used this. But it's pretty. I don't know. Okay, maybe. And this is one of my all-time favorite MAC MSFs, too. This is, like, perfect. Moon River is such a pretty blush. I'm going to sell it in here. This is Dainty, maybe. This is a cream blush called Lady Blush. I will never use this, so I'm gonna back to MAC that. This is Enough Said. I've been using this recently. This is Trace Gold. I've also been using this recently, especially in the summer. This is MAC Fun and Games from the Hello Kitty collection. I like these kind of colors. I don't know where all my blushes went. Tony must have them. Okay, this is It Cosmetics. It's a nice bronzer. I'm not going to sell it because they sent it to me. Um, this is a tan powder. I like it during the summer. And this is the MAC Emanuel Ungaro collection. This is e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. I like it. I can't, I can't remember the last time I wore it though, so I'm just going to throw it out. No, but it's pretty. I'm, oh, it's falling apart. If I miss it, I'll buy a new one. Dallas by Benefit, I do like. Dandelion by Benefit, I can't remember the last time I wore, so I'm going to sell that. Bella Bomba by Benefit, it's kind of like NARS Orgasm, but I can't remember the last time I wore that, so I'm going to sell that. 
And then Tarte Exposed. This is a pretty blush. I want to try to start wearing this because this is a really nice blush color. NARS Douceur is another really nice neutral color. And NARS Orgasm. I mean... I don't really wear it. Now this is the eye drawer. This is pretty much... Mike stepped on it and it kind of exploded, so that's done. Um, okay. This is the Urban Decay uh, first, what is this called, Book of Shadows. I'm going to sell this just because I never use it. It's Cypress by NARS. Oh, that's pretty. I should start wearing that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep this. This is from my MAC palette. These are some of my favorite MAC eyeshadows. I'm going to go through that after because I don't really know what they are. This is a NARS eyeshadow palette. It's missing one eyeshadow. It was part of their holiday collection. I'm going to sell it just because I, I don't wear it. Inglot palette I got when we used to have an Inglot store in my mall. I'm going to keep these. They're kind of like really nice taupey colors. Victoria's Secret eyeshadow. Kind of stupid, so I'm going to throw it out. NYX eye primer I don't use. This is from MAC and it's like this little trio. I'm going to sell it because I'm a kid eyeshadow by MAC. It's a really nice blending eyeshadow, so I'm going to keep that. And then from the uh, uh, Venomous Villains collection was this black eyeshadow. It's not a, it didn't hit pan, but I guess Tony, there's a shadow on it. I'm going to sell it because I don't use black eyeshadow. And then the Urban Decay Naked Palette has been through the ringer, as you can tell, but it's a classic. This is an IT Cosmetics trio. I do really like the colors because they're pretty neutral, and I like the, um, the shades. This is a Stila palette. That's really pretty, also. I should have a wet face cloth. Um, this is an old mascara. This is old single eyelashes. If I need one, I'll go buy a new set. These are two eyelashes. I don't really wear eyelashes all that often, but I guess they're good to have. And then this is a sample of the roller lash. I have another one of these and I really do like it, so I'm going to keep that. This, oh my gosh, I used to use this all the time. I'm probably going to sell these just because, hello, I don't wear a color. This is all the stuff that I was telling you guys about how I used to buy shit. All these mascaras, okay, this is a brush. This is a mascara in a, in a, another It Cosmetics thing. This is very old, this mascara. This is like from last Christmas. This, I do love that liquid eyeliner. NYX Wonder Pencil. This isn't that good. Um, it like doesn't warm up very well. I'm going to keep it just to give it a shot. And then maybe I'll... Okay, this is... These are MAC eyeliners. I figure like since you can sharpen them, they're like sanitary. Okay, this is a Sigma palette that... I used to use a lot. Um, I'm not going to sell it because they sent it to me and that's just kind of tacky. So I'll give this to my cousin or like, I don't know, maybe Sierra or like a friend. Now lips. I can already tell you that probably I won't be getting rid of lots of stuff because, oh my gosh, do you remember these lip stickers? Oh my gosh, it's empty. Do you remember these lip stickers? I just went through all of these, so that's why I'm saying that probably a lot of them will still be in the collection. Why did I keep this? Borneo? It's fucking black. 